Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Pie 4 installation video. First thing I recommend that you do is get yourselves over to Facebook and join the Craft Beer Pie user group where it is just full of awesome information and all the latest developments. Now, one of the things that you will want to go into is this Craft Beer Pie 4 support. The, the, the It's got all the chapters and stuff in here that will take you to this guide on how to actually do everything so give this all a real good read through it's pretty straightforward effectively you want to make sure that you get this all read first all right next you want to make sure you've got a nice clean raspberry pi os on your system so you can do a new image so either download it for Mac or Windows and then install it in your... It's a micro SD card, so you'll need an adapter if you want to plug it into your computer. If you've got, maybe you've got a micro SD reader, but effectively this will image Raspberry Pi onto the SD card. And when you put that in, it'll boot up in a Raspbian and you can set up your username and all that sort of stuff. Once you're kind of in that state, then you'll want to get terminal opened and install Python. So the latest Python's 3.11.2. To do that, there's a guide here, Stack Overflow, uh, how to update Python and Raspberry is the one I used. It's really, really good. You just follow all the instructions in Terminal. So you basically put all these commands in. Where it says 3.8.0, you'll, pro you'll want 3.11.2 for the latest one. And where it says 3.8, just 3.11. So just follow that and that will get you Python. You'll then want to go back to this instructions and install Raspberry Pi. So you just follow these instructions here, get updates, upgrade, set up. One of the things I've got is VNC, so I can remote dial in from anywhere in the world using my VNC account. So you might want to set that up. It's really handy. But yeah, follow this. For the installation, I recommend actually using the, the fork here on Pi Bruin. It's the latest one and it's got all the, the latest developments on it rather than the just uh, CB Pi 4. Follow all that and then once you start it up, it will come up. Now, one of the issues I had was with auto start. This kind of tells you how you can change it, but you need to go into the config folder that is located in a it's an admin area so I'll take you through that just now so the way I found it was you've got your username and within your config you've got the craft beer pie service dot service this isn't the folder that you want to change it's actually in etc where is it and then it's system System D, system, and then multi-user target once, and it's this one here. But when you open this, what you'll find is you can't actually edit this. So you need it at the minute. It'll be pointing to home slash pi. You want to change that to home slash your username slash. Okay. Now. I says before you can't actually modify this so what you actually have to do is go into terminal and you have to type sudo which gives you admin rights uh, uh, is it pc man film manager yeah then that then gives you it boots up file manager but with admin rights now so see how the wee home's gone off the a lynch now if i go to etc system d i'll use a target once i can now modify this folder so let me actually if i even just say i delete that and then hit save it's let me save it I'll put it back in save but yeah so when you open it up it'll probably say pi 
you want your username that you use to set up your There'll be in the same name as in that folder I showed you earlier, which will be, yeah, this one at, at the home. Okay, that will fix the auto start issues that you'll be having. So that'll be your craft beer pie system working. The other thing you can do is you can get it to boot up in Chromium so that when you log in, say you've got a you've put an LCD screen on it, you can have it booting up so that it gets booting up in full screen in Chromium. So there's instructions here how to do that. So in kiosk mode, you can do that. And then if you ever want to come out of Chromium, then what you do is you just press function F11 and it'll take it away and then you can get back to your desktop. There's also a varied variety of plugins that you can install. Yeah, sudo pip, sudo, sudo pip 3 install and then whatever the the location of the actual plugin. Now, on PyBrewin, if we go, we copy this. Actually, if we go to that address, you can see in the repositories, there's a whole load of different, you can have a look in here and see all the different plugins that you can get some of the really cool like, things you'll definitely need to like PID boil things like load cells that means that you can actually set, set up a load cell and you can measure the weight of things like maybe liquid volumes and stuff I've not done that you can get hydrometers like the tilt to show up I've done that you can get your auto tune which you'll need for auto tune in your pot to get your PID values but yeah, there's a whole load of different ones. There's even one for push notifications. So there's a website where you can actually get it to push notifications basically to your phone, which is really cool. But yeah, check out all these anyway. It's really handy. It's also a bit of troubleshooting in here to help you, but it's not much. Um, this teaches you actually Craft Beer Pi 4 server, it'll tell you how to actually set everything up. How the dashboard, the mash profile, fermenters, hardware, how to get it all in. I'll take you through that as well. Recipe uploads, data, yada yada. How to operate, you can set up all your different various steps. But yeah, check out this anyway. And it's got the recommended hardware and stuff. It's an excellent guide. And that's what I followed through. Join me in the next video where we'll look through the interface of Craft Beer Pi 4.